So Cora Dream Log day two after or day three after night two. So our second full day. Uh, we slept in the second bedroom in the on the on the twin bed. She slept she started off the night in bed with me, but went to the floor after about I don't know, 45 minutes. And then um, got in bed with me early in the morning and, and slept with me next to me. Um, and we snuggled and cuddled and it was really, really sweet. Um, and I did that so the cats, so Jack and Pretty Boy could have the the um bedroom like they're used to but they still ended up sleeping upstairs because i guess i wasn't there which makes sense so they're very upset i was gonna like split the night but i never woke up i slept all the way through so um oh, it's beautiful it's nice a little slight chill to the air, but it's going to be another hot day. But it's only going to get hotter, I think, in the next week. It's supposed to be 105 here is what the weather says. I'm hoping that'll go way, way down because that is way hot. <clears throat> really, really, really hot. If it's, one, if it's 105 here, I can't, like, it's like 115 off the mountain, which I can't even. Like, <laughs> what? Um, not good. So anyway, we just left the house. She was really good. She, I was like, okay, how she, she was same way yesterday morning. Not like, oh my God, I got to pee, get up. Like how you're like a lot of dogs are like, they make you get out of bed. Like I'm the one both days going, okay, let's get up. And she's like, all right. Like she drinks so much water and she just doesn't pee that much and she doesn't have to pee that much it's like i've never seen a dog not pee so much it's like or pee so little um so that was uh, that's an awesome quality about cora dreamer huh cora that's an awesome quality about cora is that she wakes up and is sleepy and she's groany and she's not into jumping right up right when she wakes up she doesn't need to pee first thing in the morning she <laughs> she lets me sleep <coughs> excuse me she lets me sleep as long as uh oh wait 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 please wait I don't know why I put these on they're the worst for walking through like the stickers and stuff because those holes are just like meant for them but i don't know what the hell i was thinking anyway um we can go some more we can go some more so that's a great quality of her she lets me sleep she lets me sleep and she's a great sleeper dreamer's a great <laughs> name for her because she's really an avid sleeper sleep is a really big deal for her I think the reason why she gets off the bed is because I, I, it's too hot with me I put out a lot of heat um it is crowded in the twin for sure but but um uh I think she just wants quality sleep and when we're she's sleeping in the bed with me she she can't just sleep <laughs> so she gets off the bed and she's, she's so funny. She wakes, she like does all this groaning and moaning, um, in her sleep. And when she's waking up and when she's sleepy, it's really, really, really cute. It's adorable. Ow, 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 ow. There's another one. Oh, I think we've reached the end of the line, babe. Yeah, I think we reached the end of the line. Yeah. So, what is all this? Whoa. Oh my god, these things. These things really need jeans. I think if I had jeans, it would be okay. But I don't, I don't have any thick jeans. I need to get some. What is this? Huh. Some kind of vine. 
Not the grapes. What is this? No, we're not going that way, babe. Come on. Let's go back. Here. Wait. Wait. Here. Wait. Wait. Come back. Let me take you off the leash. There you go. On your leash. Ah. She's like, yeah, that's better. I just found a, I looked up dog trainer. Dog trainers near me. And it turns out there is the closest one, about a half hour away. There is this like awesome dog trainer from Germany who specializes in German shepherds. But I guess they, it's him and his wife. They have like a combined like 30 or 40 years of dog training, which is fantastic. <clears throat> I am certainly no expert. I don't know how to, I mean, she's doing better with her separation anxiety, but, um, for sure, but she's still, oh, there's your first poopies. Oh, nice, healthy poop. That's a nice, healthy poop. Yes, it is. You don't have to look if you don't want to. <laughs> good girl, Cora. Good girl, Cora. That's my good girl. Yay, Cora Dreamer. Cora Dreamer. I tested her last night. I just was saying Dreamer and her ears were twisting. But then I said Cora and then she totally answered. So I mean, it's only been two days. So that's pretty good. Her, her ears reacted to Dreamer. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I'm no expert in dogs. I know some basic stuff, but... Um, I do, and she's doing better with the separation anxiety for sure. I can leave her in the bedroom. She does like this morning. She was really upset when I left her, but I left her to go so I could go to the bathroom and see the cats real quick, but I didn't check up on all of them because she got really, she was getting really upset and you know, the more vocal and upset she, uh oh, you okay? The more vocal and upset she is. Are you Okay. You okay? You all right? Yeah, she's okay. The more vocal and upset she is, the more upset the cats get. So I'm, I can't be like, oh, hi, good morning, when she's like screaming her head off because she, I, she hadn't left the, the room yet. Hey, what do we got here? What do we got here? What's that? What's that? What's that? <gasps> Is that your ball? Is that your ball? Yeah? Is that your ball? Are we going to throw it for you? So I figure if we have this routine of taking her out. Get it, babe. Get it. Get it. Get it. Good girl. That's my good Cora dreamer. Good girl, Cora. Good girl, Cora. That's my good girl. That's my good girl. Are you going to do it again? Are you going to do it again? Yes. Oh. That was a good one. Then she can get some energy out, take her pee and her poo, which she just did. And, uh, so far away. Get your ball. Cora, get your ball. No, where's your ball? You didn't bring your ball back. Where's the ball? Where's the ball, silly boo? Go get it. Oh, you got a stick. She loves sticks. <laughs> she loves sticks. Yes, she does. We should collect some sticks for you to have in the bedroom. I got bully sticks for her. The odorless bully sticks. And she doesn't... She's not into them. At least not yet. And they're expensive. $30 for six of them at the store. They're probably... They're, I know they're cheaper on Amazon. But I wanted to have them for her. Um... And I, <clears throat> I even soaked one to get it going. What do you got? Oh, is that a stick? And she still wasn't into it. So I don't, I don't know. But anyway, I am going to call the dog trainer tomorrow and see what they say. Because she's got the separation anxiety and the reactiveness, the overexcitement to the cats. She doesn't want to hurt the cats. 
So if she was to catch up to one, they would probably hurt her before she hurt them because she's not looking to hurt them. But she sees them and she goes fucking ballistic because she's so excited. Um, so, you know, that scares the shit out of them. And she just wants to get at them and see them because she's so excited. And so it's not an aggressive thing. It's an excitement thing. And it's a reactive thing. And I don't know how to do that effectively quickly because I need this to be a quick transition for the cats mostly so because she's she'll be fine it's the cats that are suffering and I need them to have a normal life without it taking too too long of them in this state of being so it's really a lot <laughs> emotionally energetically spatially um physically mentally all of the things but I absolutely love this dog she's so sweet she's she's such a good girl who's such a good girl who's such a good girl with a stick who is who's a boo who's a boo yeah I am on a super short leash watch See, <laughs> I am not getting far without her right there. What do you got? What do you got? You love those sticks, don't you? We should collect some sticks for you. All right, we're going to go collect some sticks. I hope you have and are having and will have a wonderful morning. I think it's right around probably close to 830 here in the mountain with the Cora Dreamer. And uh, it's really, really nice out. <laughs> I wish it would stay like this all day. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and we shall catch you on the flip side. Look at, she looks like she's all white from the front. Cora, look how pretty you are. She looks like a fully white dog from the front. I love it. <laughs> she's got that little bit of German Shepherd trademark <coughs> ah, yeah you're adorable and that tail so cute <laughs>